Boa noite, Maria. Primeiramente, eu queria dizer que é uma honra estar entre as jornalistas que a estão entrevistando. É, queria dar um, um passinho atrás. É, por quê? A Vera disse muito bem que o seu livro, Como Derrubar um Ditador, principalmente para nós jornalistas, ele traz muitos gatilhos, porque nós vivemos todo esse processo, de, primeiro de encantamento com as redes sociais e depois é, de, de, de ver como as redes sociais transformaram e, e são usadas, como você diz no livro, como alto-falantes para o discurso de ódio, a desinformação e as teorias conspiratórias. Como eu gostaria que é, o seu livro fosse lido por muita gente, eu queria que você falasse muito brevemente, porque é, é uma história longa, quais são os momentos chaves em retrospectiva, quais são os momentos chaves que levaram as redes sociais a se transformarem né, nisso, é, terem esse papel, e como as Filipinas se tornaram um microcosmos de experimentação para o que depois seria feito nos Estados Unidos, na Inglaterra, no Brasil. So thank you, thank you for the question. Um, I think if you look at technology platforms, big tech, um, they've been around for 20 years. And in the last, I would say last six years, they've changed their algorithms to the point that it has destroyed our shared space. You know, um, so let me go back to 2014. 2014 is when the meta narratives were introduced Uh, Russian military <coughs> warfare essentially used um, uh, Russian changed the meta narrative around Crimea. And in that one, they seeded this first on social media before coming out and annexing Crimea. So Russia annexed Crimea, used, starting first with a meta narrative. That same meta narrative was used in 2022 for Russia to go ahead and invade Ukraine itself. In the Philippines in 2014, we had Ferdinand Marcos Jr. begin information operations that literally changed history in front of our eyes. His father, his family, his father was a dictator for 21 years in the Philippines. People power ousted the family, forced them into exile in 1986 for stealing 10 billion US dollars in 1986 dollars. And starting in 2014, we saw information operations that changed our history in front of our, si our eyes. Think about Milan Kundera, right? He said that the struggle of man against power is the struggle of memory against forgetting. But here you go, it's being changed in front of our eyes. We're forgetting because information operations is literally treating us like Pavlov's dogs, right? So um, fast forward, what happened in 2016? It took two years before the political dominoes began to fall in the Philippines in 2016. Rodrigo Duterte won. As president, he continued, um, and this was this is in the book, information operations, uh, and it combined it with Marcos. D Marcos and Duterte disinformation networks worked together. Um, 2016 is when the political dominoes began to fall. The Philippines in May, less than about a month later, you had Brexit, and then you had all of the elections coming forward. Ending in, in November, it was Donald Trump elected in the United States. Again, very similar, Cambridge Analytica was, was critical in this. And what's so interesting with Cambridge Analytica is that um, the United States had the most number of compromised accounts, but the Philippines was number two, mm -hmm. right? Why the Philippines? Because By 2017, 100% of Filipinos on the internet are on Facebook. This is where we saw it was YouTube and Facebook, right? Seeded on YouTube. Now it's YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. These, this is how we watched history change. Finally, I would point out in 2018, after Cambridge Analytica, after that became a global story, the platforms change their algorithms one more time and they keep doing this to tweak news out of the feed. They never tried to make a distinction between fact and fiction. In fact, the fiction spread faster, right? And by doing that, they have now doomed us in the next level of technology. If the AI 
is fed lies, cannot tell the difference between lies and facts, how will that AI then order the world? This is a fundamental flaw in the technology we're using. Mm 